Good day viewer. In this video, we will be talking about gonorrhea. What is gonorrhea? It is a sexually transmitted disease, or STD, that you can get by having sexual interaction with someone who's infected. Both men and women can contract gonorrhea, although men contract it more often than women do. It is caused by being infected by the bacterium Neisseria gonorrhea. This bacteria typically tends to infect moist areas of the body, such as the urethra, eyes, throat, vagina, anus, and the female reproductive tract. Symptoms of gonorrhea It usually occurs within 2 to 14 days after getting infected. However, some people never develop noticeable symptoms after getting infected with gonorrhea. These people are called non-symptomatic carriers. It's important to remember that non-symptomatic carriers are still contagious. The symptoms are different for men and women. For men, they may not develop noticeable symptoms for several weeks. Some men may also never develop symptoms. Normally, the infection begins to show symptoms a week after its transmission. The first noticeable symptom in men is often a painful or burning sensation during urination. As it progresses, other symptoms may include greater frequency of urination, a pus-like discharge from the penis, may be white, yellow, beige, or greenish in color, swelling or redness at the opening of the penis, swelling or pain in the testicles, and a persistent sore throat. To take note that the infection will stay in the body for a few weeks after the symptoms have been treated. In rare instances, gonorrhea can continue to cause damage to the body, specifically the urethra and testicles. The pain may also spread to the rectum. For women, many of them do not develop any obvious symptoms of gonorrhea, but when they do develop symptoms, it is mild or similar to other infections, which makes it more difficult to identify. Gonorrhea infections can look like common vaginal yeast or other bacterial infections. Symptoms include discharge from the vagina, watery, creamy, or slightly green in color and texture, pain or burning sensation while urinating, frequent urination, heavier periods or spotting, sore throat, pain during sexual intercourse, and a sharp pain in the lower abdomen. Gonorrhea prevention the only sure way not to get infected is to not have sex. You also have a lower risk of contracting this disease if you're in a long-term sexual relationship with only one person and you're their only partner. To reduce your chances of getting gonorrhea, you need to practice safe sex and getting regular screenings. Here are a few steps to safeguard yourself from gonorrhea. 1. Use condoms. Sperm side won't protect you from getting gonorrhea. 2. Have your sexual partner tested. Ask them if they've ever been screened for gonorrhea. If they haven't, tell them to get tested immediately. 3. Don't have sex with anyone showing symptoms of gonorrhea. Cure or treatment for gonorrhea. If you or someone you know have gonorrhea, then you'll want to get treated as soon as possible. Because if you don't, this disease can cause a number of long-term health problems for both men and women. This common sexually transmitted disease or STD can easily be treated. Your doctor will likely prescribe two antibiotics, ceftriaxone and either azithromycin or doxycycline. Ceftriaxone is given as a one-time injection that's usually a dose of 250 mg. The other two antibiotics are taken by mouth. One dose of azithromycin or doxycycline may be enough to treat the infection. But if it is severe, you might need to take antibiotics for a week or more. Your doctor will likely monitor your health at this time. Remember that even though the medication will stop the infection, it will not repair any permanent damage done by the disease. If symptoms persist for more than a few days after receiving treatment, return to a healthcare provider to be re-evaluated.